guys, this is a tutorial of The Girl by City and Color, a beginner tutorial, so it's super easy. Uh, hope you enjoy. As you can see, uh, I've got the capo set up on the third fret, which is for the reason that um, without the capo, the chords are much more complicated and harder to play, especially for beginners. So by putting the, the capo on the third fret, you can play normal chords, normal everyday chords that you probably know already. Um, so, the first chord we're going to be playing is a G major. Uh, I will get into the strumming pattern in just a second, but we're going to go G major. The second chord is going to be an E minor. Then moving on to a C major. Moving to a D major. And going back to a G major. Okay, so the strumming pattern, it's going to be a standard up, down, up, down, up, down, with the exception of putting emphasis on every second down strum. So it's going to sound something like this. Okay, so the, the G major chord. You're going to be playing four counts, then the E minor, you're going to be also playing four counts, then moving on to the C major for two counts, to the D major, two counts, and then back to the G major for four counts. It's going to sound something like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two. Three, four, and then just restarting that same pattern again through the verses. Okay, so let's try and play this together slowly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one. Okay, so now let's try play it at a normal speed. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. Okay, so about halfway through the song, there's a pause, and after that pause, the tempo increases in the song. So that, that tempo increase uh, is, comes along with a slight change in strumming pattern. And that strumming pattern goes like this. Down, down, up, down, up. And just repeats like that. So, down, down, up, down, up. So, down, down, up, down, up, down, down up down up and just like that keeps repeating and it would sound something like this at normal speed One, two, three, four. so the outro of the song maintains the same tempo and strumming pattern but the chords change and the chords goes as follow E minor C major G major D major and that would sound something like this When you're comfortable with these strumming patterns and chord changes, you can add small transitions to sound more like the original, and that would go something like this.
Okay, so the only the only thing you have to do is from the G major, all you do is you lift up your index finger, you place it on the second fret of the sixth string, and then you lift up your middle finger. You can either do that or you can just lift your index finger and slide your middle finger to the second fret like this. Another thing is on when when playing the G the G chord on every second beat you can lift up your index and do a hammer on. guys for watching that's basically the whole song played um, I hope you learned something and if you did please leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to watch more tutorials like this um, leave your requests in the comments below if you have any that you can't find any good tutorials of cool